everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family, as well as hitting the like button down below and leaving a comment because all of those things do help my channel grow. I am really excited. We hit the 1750 subscriber mark and I had told you that that is when I was gonna do my next giveaway. Um, so I did start shopping for it and I got some stuff from Dollar Tree, but that isn't the big prize that I wanna to add to it, and I need to finish shopping for that. So that is a different store other than Dollar Tree, and I either need to get there or order it online so that it's here. So do keep an ear out for that giveaway coming up here soon, hopefully next week sometime, because, um, well, in three weeks, we leave for Costa Rica, like three weeks from today. So I'm recording right now, it is Wednesday, but it is, 10 p.m. exactly just turned 10 p.m. on Wednesday I had full intentions of recording this morning at like 9 a.m. and this day just kept on going and I just didn't have a chance to sit in front of the camera so here I am 10 p.m. trying to get it done so you'll see this on Thursday but we leave three weeks from right now on Wednesday to leave for Costa Rica so I need to get the giveaway put it out there pick a winner and hopefully get it mailed before we go so that that way whoever wins isn't waiting forever so that's my goal um, so keep an ear out hopefully next week because I'm going to record two hauls tonight because I am super busy and we're doing a garage sale this weekend and it's going to be Thursday tomorrow and that means tomorrow's my day to get it all ready and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I think we're going to be having a garage sale. So I'm going to be super busy then. So I want to get two hauls recorded so that I can get them posted this week. Um, you had probably seen Eric's birthday party if you haven't already. I did post a like walkthrough of the decor of Eric's army party. It was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. I did do a Dollar Tree run right beforehand and I never had a chance to haul the stuff. So some of it is here in the haul. Some of it I just didn't use, but I picked it up just in case. Some of it's stuff that I use, but I'm able to still haul it. And some of it like the candy is all gone. But let's with all that let's get started um keep frugal jay in your prayers or in your thoughts like i always say i did see a post from her was it yesterday or today that her son was not doing well he had a high fever so i'm hoping that he pushed past that um if you haven't been watching he was in an accident on his motorcycle about three months ago and he has a traumatic brain injury and hasn't regained full consciousness since and so we are keeping her in our prayers if you can't um, donate to her GoFundMe which is always in my description box maybe head over to her channel give her a subscribe and watch her videos um, if you don't know the way youtubers make money is by watching the ads or letting the ads run and so if you can head over there and do that for her because this is her form of income right now because she can't work so I always like to say that so that people can head over there if you haven't already. Now, with all that said, let's get started on my Dollar Tree haul. I have some wish list items that I had found. I have some things that I was just kind of waiting and hoping that I would be able to pick up later. I just have a lot. And if you want to wait till the end, I have some happy mail to open as well. But I'm going to do that at the very end. Really excited. One of them I did peek into because she told me there was some stuff for the army birthday party. So I had to get in there. And then two of them I have not seen. I barely just cut them open right before I turned on the camera. So wish list item. Um, I picked up, I found, I had been looking everywhere I went for this palm olive spray away. And so I think what I've gathered is this is a lot like the Dawn spray dish soap. And so I was glancing at it and it basically says directions for use is to use in place of your normal soap. Um, and I'm really excited because there's times where I just wash a pan and then when you put a dip of soap, like, you know, put a pump of soap on it, it's just too much for what it is. And so I'm really excited that I could just maybe spray some on and like wash single items. And so I'm excited to give this a try. Um, I think I've heard good things from other people that I've seen haul it already and talked about it. So I am really excited. I picked up two in case I love it and I can't find them again because that happens so often. Um, I picked up some paper plates, just the regular round ones. I do have the summer fun ones, but those are really flimsy, which is okay like for basic day-to-day -day stuff, but sometimes you just need a sturdier plate, and so that's why I picked these up. You get 10 in each package. They're like just white, round, and decently um, sturdy. So I picked some of those up to have on hand. Um, some of the birthday party stuff that I've picked up, or I picked up for the party, some I didn't use. So I picked up some black tablecloths. So it was an army themed party or like camo, very camo. 
and I had bought in two camo tablecloths from Hobby Lobby or I, either from Hobby Lobby or I ordered them. I can't remember. I think I ordered them actually. But then I was like, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. I don't know if I need more than that. So I picked up these ones just to have just in case because nothing's worse than when you're setting up for the party and you don't have enough tablecloths. Um, I didn't need them because I still have them both. But um, they're an easy one. I'll just keep them on hand. I don't use black for a lot of parties. But then like when like the kids want to craft or something, which it's summer, so they're going to want to do more crafting and painting and stuff, I can just lay one of these out and not worry about the table. And so I don't mind having them which was part of my thought too when I picked them up just in case. Um, I picked up some popsicles that never made it into the freezer and so we never had them. Uh, I got these ones because it was army themed and they're warheads. I don't know how actual sour they are but it says they're extreme. We had warhead candies and they were all eating those and talking about how sour they were. And then these ones were just the regular ones just in case they didn't like the warhead ones or didn't want them. But I forgot to put them in the freezer, so I will just put them in the freezer now and the kids will have them through the summer for whenever they kind of want a, a popsicle or a sweet treat because why not? It's the summer. Um, I also bought a whole bunch of candy, uh, but I didn't haul it because it went onto the candy bar. Um, I think some of the ones that I hadn't hauled before were like Tootsie Rolls and Suckers and I don't know, a handful of things. So if you are interested at all, it is in the like walkthrough where I named all the candies like different names. To correlate with the party and um, put them in my candy bar. I guess speaking of the candy bar, I picked up a bunch of these crates because I didn't have any just like hanging out and I wanted to paint them. So they don't come in this color. You know, if you shop at Dollar Tree, you know they are the light wood color. And this, I painted them with the dark brown paint from Dollar Tree. It's just the like dark brown acrylic paint. And I watered it down so it was really just thin and watery. And then I went over them with a paintbrush. And that paint honestly is already pretty darn watery. And so I learned that it didn't need a lot of water to be really watery because it's already a watery paint. But I didn't want it like brown brown. This isn't the exact color that my brain wanted them either, but it worked for the party. So I picked up, I think, 10, 12 of these ones. I can't remember for sure, it was 10 or 12. And I didn't bring them all over here. They're all kind of put away with the party stuff. And I picked up two of these just in case something was too big to fit in these, like longer. And then these I do have plans. We are decorating Braxton's room. We finally hook, hung up some shelves on his, his walls. If you've been with me since last September, he had a Harry Potter birthday party that I made a ton of stuff for. If you like Harry Potter, you should go down. I'll try to remember to link it in the description box, but if I don't, it's around September or October that I posted like the walkthrough of his Harry Potter party and I made a ton of like Harry Potter things and so we're putting them in his room on the shelves now for decor because he has a Harry Potter room and so we he needed some crates and stuff we made a whole um, Quidditch set and he wants to raise up one of the rings and he wants to put some of the balls in a like the is it the quaffle or the bludgers I can't remember all the names of them but he wanted some of those for his Harry Potter stuff. Oh, and for the um, the little things, um, not spells, magical little jar vial things. Wow, it's I told you, it's ten o'clock. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Potions for the potions. He wanted some of those to be able to put the potions in. Um, I picked up some blueberry toast dumps, so like the pop tarts. You get six in here, which means there's three packages of two. Braxton was with me one of my trips to the store and he wanted some pop tarts and he said the blueberry ones looked good. So I picked those up to have them on hand. Before school ended, he was eating breakfast at school all the time. And so that was really nice, but school ended now. So we have to make sure that there's breakfasts and stuff here. Uh, for the party, I picked up some gift bags. I did use one of these ones. And then this was a pack of two with the screen one. And I used I think both of them actually and I don't know where the other one went but I'm a saver of bags I am that person especially these ones because they're so versatile to use in so many different ways and so I just like closed them up after I wrapped his presents in them and so I still have them but I use these because they matched the color scheme of what I do when I did the gift table I did I think post a picture of that on the community tab um, it was all like in, in greens and browns and camo wrapping paper and it all matched I think I think that's everything that I just kind of have from the birthday party. 
because I used a bunch of it. Uh, speaking of Braxton's room and decor, I also bought some of these because I thought these might be cute and kind of fit the theme. And so I got one of each of all three sizes of these ones. I've looked at them many, many times and I never really had a good use for them, so I haven't bought them. But when I was just getting those crates, I thought, well, maybe this might work too for some of this stuff. Um, I just think that they're really cute. So I think that this, with the whole Harry Potter vibe, I think that this will be cute in there. We'll see. Never know. And if they don't work in there, I'll find something to do with them because I think that those are really cute. Um, I just talked about Costa Rica a few minutes ago that we will be going there soon. And I got Eric and Lorelai these cute little bucket hats. I got Lorelai this one. I had them try them on today to make sure it fit their heads. And they do. These ones... This one does not say it's kids. So the shark one says kids. The palm leaf one does not say kids. So that one would fit. I feel like they just seem like they're the same size, but oh no, I guess this one's a little bit smaller. Not much. So this one I got for Eric because it is sharks and he loves sharks. Um, I just ordered them like new swimsuits and stuff and I got him a bunch of shark. Well, not a bunch, at least one shark swimsuit. Got him a shark and I got him camo. As things are coming, I ordered a bunch of clothes online. I will probably do a collective haul of some sort with the clothes that I've ordered because the kids need one summer clothes just because it's summer and two clothes to go to Costa Rica. And I want to make sure they have plenty of swimsuits, especially like if we're going to the pool or the beach every day and we'll be there for six days. And I want to make sure like if they're not dry that they have something they can wear. I picked up some VO5 Passion Fruit Smoothie. This one is the moisturizing shampoo and this one is the moisturizer conditioner. They had two different sizes there. It's funny because they both said bonus 20% more. But this one was 18 fluid ounces and the other one was 15 fluid ounces. So what are we 20% mooring of, of? Of like smaller and then they got bigger and then they got bigger again? I don't know. But Lorelai needs conditioner. Like she needs conditioner. Her hair is a ratty mess all the time and she hates brushing it. And so I figure we can try this, see if this works in her hair. She still likes tear free because she doesn't like it if anything potentially gets in her eyes. I'm gonna have her try this. It smells really good. Like I said, the passion fruit smoothie. The reason I picked it up is because it smelled so good. So I think that she'll really like it. It smells really good. So it says it has five oils and no, yeah, five oils and five vitamins. Why do they do this? So it's five written out in the word, five oils, and then five is in the number vitamins. No idea. But it has sunflower oil, al almond oil, mango oil, camille, chamomile oil, rosemary oil, and then vitamin E, biotin, vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin B5, and vitamin B, B3. I don't know. I don't know how great that all is. But I got those for her. I actually should probably. So I use the leave-in conditioner, like the cream, out after my showers. And it comes in a purple thing. I should probably grab her that too. Because if she runs that through her hair before brushing it, it should be, it should help because it's always a hot mess and it's a fight to get her to, to brush it. Uh, I picked these up. I have seen so many awesome like makeup sponges going around and makeup and stuff. And my stores have like none of the cool new like name brand makeup. I haven't been able to find it. But I picked these up because I when I do my under eye makeup and use my regular blender sponge, blender sponge, um, I just can't get into there very well. Like it's just too big. And I get the like kind of I don't know if it's tie-dye one from Dollar Tree. I really like it a lot, but and I want a smaller one for under my eyes. I don't know if this is the same though. Like if you put water in these, like you do that, like if you wet them and it does not tell me, it just tells me not to eat it and to avoid the eye area, which is what I bought it to use. So don't eat them. Don't use them on your eyes, even though that's what I want. And it doesn't tell me if I should wet it or not. But I'm going to try and see if that's, what I was hoping like if it's like a blender beauty blender but it says makeup sponge excuse you that's my dog if you heard that that was Gertrude over there bourbon um yeah I don't know I didn't look I guess before I picked up some super glue I 
at one point used the gel and I will never go back to not the gel because I ran out. I used some regular super glue and that is a runny mess and I always manage to glue my fingers together or my skin together in some way when I use regular super glue because it's so runny and not for my nails. Like I don't know because I haven't used fake nails in a while. I haven't polished my nails as you can tell but they're nice and long so I haven't used fake ones to, to go over them. But to use on projects and stuff like this gel I feel like is so much better and they had these ones which are the two plus one bonus so you get three of them and so I picked up two to have them on hand because I've been using super glue in my crafting a lot as opposed to like my hot glue gun and stuff and I've really liked it and it seems to hold really well and it's just really been working so I wanted to have more on hand like I said the gel the gel is the way to go like you kind of have more precision on where you put it and it doesn't run and drip and get everywhere and I'm not gluing myself together as often when I use that so yeah I picked that up we needed some tissues we need more than one now that I only picked up one but um I only thought about the one place that was ran out of tissues and not all the other places so I picked up one box this time I picked up some more of these I just recently hauled these and Melinda you asked about where I find them and it's usually on the fun finds or like the kind of middle not like the circular one so some of my stores I guess have fun find shelves and some of them have like like a fun find standalone shelf either way I usually find them in the, the fun finds but I saw them again so I picked them up for you because I will mail these to you at some point Typically, as soon as I decide I'm going to send you some Happy Mail, I like to just keep adding to it before I send it. So don't pick these up if you find them. I got a set for you, but I don't know when for sure I'll get them in the mail. So because I want to pick up more. I always like to add more. And leave me in the comments any other wish list items. I was looking through the stickers, and I am two things. Super excited that I found these, and super sad that I just found these and didn't find them before. So if you were here around... And end of school, you know that I did teacher gifts <clears throat> for the end of the school year, and they were s'mores baskets. And now I found s'more stickers. Are these? They're the Momiko Momiko stickers. They are hey the cutest stickers. They are the cutest stickers. So we got my pups are down here. We got graham crackers, marshmallows, chocolates, and like full on s'mores. So I bought three packs of them because I do plan to make at least one more s'mores kit as a gift. I'm gonna make one for my best friend, but the brat went and got another s'mores. She got one that's like the box style. She didn't know I was gonna make her one. So now she has like a, a countertop s'mores awesomeness thing that she she got from like the local buy sell group. So I'm glad that she got that, but I was gonna make her one of the ones like I did the teachers. But oh my gosh, so if I do another one, and these do say that they're scented, chocolate scented. So I will open. So this one they put the label on backwards. Um, and they put the stickers in. Maybe someone pulled them out and smelled them or something. But I was really sad that I didn't find these when I did the baskets. Because these would have been such a cute addition. Oh yeah. They smell like chocolate. And you get, do you get two sheets? How many sheets do you get in here? You get 96 stickers. Oh my gosh, you get three sheets in each one. That's exciting. I don't think I've ever paid attention to that. Or is that, was I lucky? No, that one has any, I, I got real distracted. It's what I do sometimes when it's, especially when it's 10 o'clock, I'm real tired. Oh no, you get three sheets in all of them. Oh, that's super exciting. I was real happy. I was real happy when I found these. That was a long time on s'more stickers. All right, we are going to finish up this bag. I still have more. I, still, I always still have more for you guys. But I also have Happy Meal, and I don't want to make this too, too long. So um, I will finish what I have in this bag right in front of me because I had another bag of, like, randomness. And I'm going to do the Happy Meal. I picked up some more flip-flops for Eric. I have picked up the camouflage ones. And then now I picked up the shark ones. They say Jawsome. Um, like I said, we're going on vacation and we also tend to go to the pool. It got real cold here this week though, like in the 50s and 60s. And so the pool just opened for Memorial Day weekend, but I mean, it's been too cold to go. So we haven't. Uh, I finally found these. These were taking forever like to come to my stores. And I wanted them to for my summer decor, which I still haven't put up because it's been a busy, busy week. 
after taking down army. But I got the seahorses. You get six of them. I don't know if I'm going to keep them wood because I feel like wood has the right look to it or if I'm going to paint them. I don't know yet for on my little all occasion tree. And then I also got the starfish and you also get six of these ones. I don't know. Would you paint them or would you just leave them the natural wood color? I feel like the natural wood color like goes for the beach theme, but I also feel like they'd look really pretty painted. I guess maybe it depends on time. We'll see what kind of time I have. All right, so lastly for the haul part before I do Happy Mail, I found these candles. These are new to me. I keep looking for the round tin ones that I've seen people haul that are like, I think one of them is like a pineapple something scent and like different scents like that, and I haven't been able to find them. But I don't typically buy Dollar Tree candles, but I've been wanting those, and then I found these. So they had four. The other one was, one of them was like Calm, so it was like a... um lavender type I think lavender vanilla I could be wrong don't quote me and then the other one was another like essential oil kind of smell but I don't remember what I was gonna take a picture and I didn't and I should have but the ones I did pick up are energy and energy is mandarin and neroli and it's a richly scented candle um, it's aromatherapy established 2019 it is green briar so they are green briar candles but that one I liked a lot and then this one is grapefruit and bergamot and it says positivity and when I opened them they both had a really lovely smell and I think another big reason it smells like like fruity cereal that one that one's the grapefruit and bergamot it reminds me of like fruity not eh, maybe fruity pebbles or um, fruit loops and that one's, you, you definitely get the orange and you definitely get the essential oil smell. And so they, probably because they're in a jar, so they hold their smell at least in the jar because it's all like contained. I know usually when you burn them, they don't like have a lot of throw, but I might try it out and see how it is. So that is that for the haul. But I really want to get to Happy Mail because I'm really excited that I got some Happy Mail that was not expected. Um this is a card i'll do this one first i haven't opened it i literally just cut it before starting and this envelope is beautiful with the flowers on it and then there is a really cute flamingo sticker on the back i don't know how to show this without i don't want to show the address this is from caitlin s it has a little flamingo on that that i was the first thing i saw and absolutely loved like i said i don't know what's in here i know it's a little bit heavy because I haven't opened it yet. This is so cute. So, she crafted for me. I love crafts. I love homemade stuff. You can't tell by like my parties that I always do. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. So cute. Oh, it's so good. We have a flamingo, a palm leaf, a pineapple, cute little lizard, more palm leaves, like all of my favorite things. That will probably go on my tear tray. So I don't know if I told you what I've decided to do for holiday decor or for my current decor. And then she did amber on the other side. So I'm going to do the pool beach theme because I picked it all up and that's going to be in the front room like as you walk in. And then from like now or when I get to decorating, I'm going to do red, white, and blue like 4th of July in here, like the living room where we watch TV and stuff and potentially in the kitchen as well, depending on how much stuff I have. And then um, after 4th of July, I'm going to switch it over to my tropical, my flamingos and pineapples. I'm itching for my flamingos and pineapples, so it's hard to wait. This is really cute. These are cute. So it says Therapets, and it's got all these cute pets on here. So I used to have a hedgehog. Funny little fact. I had her for several years. Her name was Greta. My son named her. He was little. When we first got her, we like lifted her up, like, well, lifted the blanket up. And he's like, oh my gosh, it's a porcupine because he was little. But she was a cute little hedgehog and she lived out her life with us. And how cute is this? You are important. You matter. That is such a cute card. Like those are adorable. And then we have Hello Friends. I think you made this because those are like stickers and it looks so professional says be your own sunshine thank you 
It says, I just wanted to remind you that you make a beautiful difference in the world. Stay wonderful, Caitlin. Thank you so much. Look at all the fun stickers. I like this one, Love Life. That flamingo is just the perfect flamingo with a palm leaf. Like, how do you not love flamingos? This beautiful sun up here too. Thank you, Caitlin. I am so excited. Like, I love all this. And this will go somewhere. I guess I'm thinking my tear tray or ooh, maybe my coffee bar because I'm going to do my coffee bar like tropical. I might do that even though I'm doing red, white, and blue in here. So I'm really excited. I think that, yeah, I'm going to find an awesome spot for that. And I have my um, beaded, is it beaded garland? Like the little beaded garlands that I got a while back. I can't wait to pull those out. I saw them the other day. Like they're with my summer decor stuff. I can't wait to pull it all out. So I got another piece of Happy Mail. This one is from Janie, Janie Nunez. And she is amazing. I mean, I love all of you very much. Janie is so sweet because she listens to what we talk about and then she like sends us stuff. And it's just such a sweet gesture. Not necessary at all by any means by anybody, but it's just always really sweet. And then she'll let us know what she wants and I'm always trying to find her stuff as well from her wish list. Those almost popped off. Um, and so this is just a surprise one because like I literally just got a package from her like a few weeks ago So I'm really excited. So this I've seen these they're crystal waters vanilla peony plus blossom scented push pop Soap confetti. I think that this is the cutest little idea that they have So you want to take a bath you just like pop this into your bath and I'm assuming it just makes it smell really beautiful and uh, makes your bath really nice and it's such a neat little concept. And there's little hearts in there. These are absolutely perfect for my coffee bar because I'm gonna do it flamingos, pineapples, and palm leaves. My little tropical that I love, so those are gonna be perfect. Some awesome nail files because if you're new here, I, I married to my husband, we got married in Las Vegas in 2019. Um, and then we were gonna come home and we, I think our plan was like the following year we were gonna have like our, our wedding or like we were gonna do, then do a big wedding like for everyone else and then COVID happened so that just keeps getting put on hold so currently our plan is to get married in 2024 it'll be on our five-year anniversary and have like the big wedding on our five-year anniversary and so that we can really celebrate invite the whole family really I want to have our kids included that was one of the things I was sad that wasn't included when we did it in Las Vegas I have not seen this I know that I've seen random like parts of their new bridal, which has been amazing. Target has some awesome bridal stuff too right now. But how cute is this little brush? Like, I haven't seen this. Super cute. I love what they're doing with like their wedding stuff at Dollar Tree. There's so much in here. Get these out. Oh my gosh, I have not seen these either. How cute are these? Home, there's no place like it. I love us, farmhouse, coffee bar, be still, thankful, welcome, our nest, and this is us. These are really beautiful stickers. I haven't seen these ones, and I look at the stickers pretty much every time I go. I have a sticker problem. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. Thank you, Janie. I have not seen those. I got the donut coffee cup. I love this. This My coffee bar right now is donuts and coffee. That's going to be kind of my, like, Regular one, I'm going to switch it up here soon, but that matches it perfectly. I should have brought the scissors over here. I cut it open, but I did not plan to cut the side of it. Oh my gosh, how cute! So it says bride. I don't think I've seen those either. Wow. How cute is that? So it says bride. It is an eye mask. That is adorable. These are beautiful. Like Dollar Tree, like seriously Dollar Tree. And then, oh, I love these. These cute little ceramic, and you can use like your um, dry erase markers on them or vinyl. I would definitely vinyl on these too. Super cute. Thank you. And then, there's some more. Oh, super cool. So it is a compact, portable, on-the-go mini razor. And then I 
think it comes in its a little case. I remember these being out a while ago. I have not seen them in my stores for a long time. I don't have scissors to open it, but like it comes in like a little travel case and then you can easily take it on the go. And I am going on several, well, I'm going on some trips. I'm going um, in a week, a week and a half. Um, Lorelai and I are going on a little trip, but it's in Colorado, but we are going on a little weekend excursion for a youth group that she is a part of and I am an adult person for. And then obviously Costa Rica. And then in August, the end of August, my husband and I are going to Mexico to Puerto Vallarta. I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, how pretty. And so another, a picture and it's the, this reminds me, I think I saw this one and I didn't pick it up because I did find the umbrella one I was looking for. I don't think I picked this one up, which is funny because it reminds me of when we went to Florida and where we stayed at Florida, like they had a kind of a walkway like this that led to the beach. And it just reminds me so much of that. And so I like it because it gives me a memory of the, one of the trips we took. Thank you, Janie, so, so much. I appreciate you so much. You are the sweetest, kindest person to do that. And you listen and you pick stuff up and it's just the sweetest thing. So just thank you so much. And I have one more piece of Happy Mail. This one I did take a peek. I didn't like look at, look at, but I did peek a little bit because it had, I didn't grab them. I gave them to Eric because like army, but she... This is from Jennifer. She used to have a channel called The Simple Life and she's been more hanging out and watching as opposed to YouTubing herself. But she made um, little bags and she did iron on vinyl, which one of these days I'm going to do, and put little army guys on them. If you look at my walkthrough of the army party, they are sitting like on the, the entryway table and there's like army men all around them. They are so cute and Eric was really excited about them. Uh, he's like, I think there's army men in here. I'm like, yep, yep, there are. Um, so super cute. And then let's see again if I can share how cute the package is with all the perfect stickers. We have sand castles and have a beach day and unicorn frap. Oh my gosh. Camera to do list. That makes me smile. Pineapples. Oh, a, a, like a pina colada. Awesome. Just perfect stickers. And all kinds of goodies in here. All right. And it, so she does iron on vinyl. One of these days. One of these days I'm going to do that. It says, let's do this. <gasps> I was literally, so I know it's bad for my skin. I just started tanning because I try to get a base tan before I go on vacation. Otherwise I'll burn and then I'll be uncomfortable. So I always like to get a tan first. And so I just signed up for tanning yesterday. And I was like, I need a little bag just to put on my lotion, my goggles, a hair tie and probably a little towel and this is absolutely perfect for that so that is what this is going to be used for and i only tan for a few weeks just long enough to have some color because i don't want to burn when i'm in costa rica because that would be sad and then i'd be uncomfortable and if i get a base tan then i don't burn so that's that's why and i know i should use spray tan i don't like spray tan it just never like it just doesn't work so do as don't do as i say or do because like i know it's bad for me there is a towel in here as well and it says I don't sweat I sparkle which is funny because I did say that semi recently on no I did it on my um thing for my other channel my Weight Watchers channel which I'm behind on so if any of you are a part of that I am very behind on that channel this is awesome this actually might go in there too for when I go to the tanning salon which I honestly joined Planet Fitness because it's a lot cheaper than all the tanning places we got a quick dry towel this is really cool. Super absorbent towel for sports and indoor and outdoor activities. That is awesome. Yeah, this will be awesome. And I'll actually probably take this on vacation with me too because we will be in humid areas. So that'll be really nice just to have on hand because, and rainy. It's supposed to be rainy too. I got real excited. There's a card and I didn't pull it out first. Um, this sticker is the absolute best sticker. I can't wait to be drinking those on the beach. The pineapple, of course, is perfect, as is the flamingo. I don't think these are Dollar Tree stickers. These are way nice, so I don't think they're Dollar Tree. Where'd you get them, Jennifer? Because I don't think they're Dollar Tree. So it was a cute card. Says so you're so thoughtful. Good luck with your garage. Yes, girl, coming up, like coming up. Happen with the birthday party and your vacation. You are the best. You are the best. So 
just so many things like my to-do list Amber's to-do list my to-do list like never ends there's so many fun things in here this is adorable so it's ray done it's a lip kit this is adorable we got we got a bubble I did not sneak all the way in here. I don't know what any of this is. I was not. Oh, no, I didn't pull this out. Oh, I'll give it to Eric. He'll be really excited. So all the kids have a cozy. I don't know if he has one that's like this for him, though. So we like to use these um, on the boat a lot when we go out on the boat. And so that'll be perfect for him. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute this is. That is adorable. So that will go on my coffee bar. Like, this is perfect for my coffee bar. Thank you. And then this I will give to Eric because he can use it on the boat. I know Lorelai has one. I think both the other kids have one. Either way, I like to um, just, I'll put them all like together and then we take them on the boat. These are some of the best stickers. They're kind of like, look like they're wooden. And these are some of the best ones because they are all of my favorite things. Oops. See, I didn't, I didn't peek at any of this stuff until I missed the one army thing. So I was trying not to peek until I opened it. Those are cool. You and Janie have the same thoughts, and it's perfect because she got me the light pink ones, you got me the dark pink ones, and now I could put them all together on my coffee bar. I'm trying to make sure, yes. Yeah. a big mess. This is turning into a long video. Like, these will be perfect. I will put them, they will all be a flock, they will go on my coffee bar, and it's going to be perfect. Now these are awesome. So they are oaky bamboo spoon, fork, and knife. So they're reusable, but kind of like take on the go. How cool are those? I love those. That spoon, like how cute is that? I love those. We have, oh my gosh, this little bag. This little bag has little coffees all over it. This is a cute bag. Can you guys see it? How adorable is that? Love that. I like these when I travel because I put, I like pack everything all up. Is this from that one website that I went to once and I still haven't ordered from that you, you told us about? So this one is a ball top cup cover. Is that like... Yep, to keep it clean from dust and bugs. Super cool. That also would be really good for the lake if I have a cup that doesn't have a lid on it. Reusable and airtight. That is really cool. Refrigerator, freezer, and dishwasher safe. Use the gap in the ball top to rest a small stirring spoon. Oh my gosh, how neat. That is really cool. Um, cough, my coffee. That'll be perfect. We have a pineapple luggage tag. I don't know if I've seen this one. I've picked up, I picked up the, pi the pina colada one. And then, um, I don't know if I've seen this one. But I've definitely been picking up luggage tags so we can mark our, I have a backpack on the way. This would probably go really well on my new backpack that's on the way. I don't carry a backpack very often, so um, I had to buy one for the, for the trip. And then she sent me the umbrella picture. I did pick up one, but I will use them both because I have a whole idea for these, so. Guys, this is a really long video. I didn't mean for it to be this long. I just got really excited because look at all the cool stuff that I got. Thank you, Jennifer, like so, so much. Thank you, Janie. Thank you, Caitlin. I appreciate all of you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you for clicking on this video. Keep an eye out. I will be doing a giveaway next week. It won't be on the next video because I'm going to record another haul right now because I have the time and I have the makeup on and I won't have the time after this because garage sale. Those are exhausting. They take up a lot of time and work. So I'm just going to do the hauls when I have a chance. So you'll see me looking the same. Sorry. Um, I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you all so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.